Um, another thing I need to point out as well too, um, I made a pretty good mutual friend and if he's watching this video, he will know who I'm talking about, but uh, I'm talking about you, but uh, yeah, we both had a, a, a discussion and it's funny, we've had the discussion over the app line, which is a very common app in Japan. Um, they predominantly don't use phone numbers, they use applications. And uh, we came to a conclusion that, hey man, um, do you feel as though you get discriminated a lot more against Japanese people? Or are you getting discriminated a lot more against other foreigners? And to be honest with you, it's kind of 50-50 to be honest. I feel as though uh, in Japan, a lot of foreigners are actually like in competition with each other, to be honest with you. Just being 100% across the board. So uh, just something to be wary about as well too. Just because you're living in Japan, you're not only going to be getting some, felt some type of way from just Japanese individuals, a lot of people from all over the world who, who live there decided to, you know, leave their country and then live there. You got people from Turkey, you got people from Brazil, people from uh, Korea, Australia, they all decide to live there. And some people, you know, they just kind of bring their own, okay, well, in Australia, this is what we think of dark skinned people, or this is what we think of ca Caucasian people. And then once they get to Japan, they kind of spread their thoughts and ideas throughout with their Japanese friends. And Japanese people, I mean, I mean, sometimes they're really innocent, but they can also be a little bit gullible as well, too. So if my American friend told me that all black people are just some thug ass motherfuckers, that's what I'm going to think. And uh, I have a lot of Japanese friends at my school and we actually crack jokes about this. Like it's kind of you one individual from a particular group can set the trend for everybody. So if you got a black guy that's, you know, stealing from people and reselling their shit in Japan, then the next black guy that decides to go there and be a fucking teacher he may get a, a guilty by association just based upon his skin color so it's just it's just really simple-minded but not everyone thinks like that though but a large part of the population they do unfortunately they really do so just something to keep in mind and um work occupation as well too a lot of people if they see you your dark skin complexion and you're living in japan and let's say uh you look like you have some sort of wealth and you can pass off being American, okay, they're gonna think, okay, that guy is probably in the military. There's a lot of military that lives in Japan. Japan is actually very diverse in particular areas. A lot of people don't know that until you like, you live there for a long time and you'll really know. There's like over, easily over 50,000 Americans living in just a Yokosuka alone. It's really diverse in that particular area of Japan, but that's not something you're gonna hear about, nor is our tourists interested in going to see that. But it's there, it's all over. Okinawa, there's a lot of just like plenty of Marines there, and not even people who are just military, people who just work for the government, and they get they live there, you know? So it's really diverse, but um, yeah. I mean, the best thing to do is, uh, if you are confident enough that um, those type of things will not bother you, that there may be some kind of a, a bias of a comparison between the two then i would say go for it man i went for it and uh i had a blast i i would say um it's definitely something in my life that i i will never want to give up because it's it, it made me who i am today and it matured the hell out of me just living in japan but just letting you know there is a big difference work the work field um social life uh the way that you're going to be treated in restaurants yeah it's there's a big difference there man yeah girls it's funny, you're only gonna get a, a particular type of girls approaching you. You might get a different type of girls, but typically like 90% of the time, based upon your looks, you're gonna get a specific type of girls approaching you there. It's just, it's just you'll see it when you get there. But yeah, hopefully that answers your question. And uh, if I didn't, believe me, man, I got all the time in the world, it's summer vacation for me. <laughs> I'm not working. So yeah, I'll definitely um, hit you guys up. Da <laughs> da